This chocolate dessert, made without flour, gelatin, or an oven, seemed too good to be true, so of course we had to try it out. First, combine 100 milliliters of milk with 30 grams of cocoa powder. Then stir until it has a smooth consistency similar to chocolate pudding. If you can find dark or Dutch processed cocoa powder, even better. Set the mixture aside and in a small bowl, combine 30 milliliters of water with 10 grams of agar agar. Now you might be wondering what that is. Basically, it's a plant-based gelatin substitute derived from seaweed and you can find it in most health food stores or grocery stores in the baking or health food section. Add milk, sugar, and a pinch of salt to a medium saucepan, then stir to combine and place over medium-high heat. Once the milk starts to heat up, add the cocoa powder and milk mixture, then stir until it's incorporated. In case it wasn't chocolatey enough already, now it's time to add about 90 grams of dark chocolate broken up into pieces. Once the chocolate has melted into the milk mixture, scoop in the bloomed agar agar and stir to combine. You'll notice that the mixture will thicken quite quickly, so you only need to continue cooking, stirring occasionally for another two to three minutes before it's ready. Now, if you have a silicone mold at home, feel free to use that, but if not, never fear. You can use a clean and empty milk carton instead. Just cut off the top and bam, easy dessert mold. After the dessert has chilled for two to three hours, simply tear apart the milk carton to reveal the chocolate goodness inside. At this point, you can simply slice and enjoy or add garnishes like cocoa powder and coconut flakes for contrast. I'm gonna be honest with you, this dessert is nothing special. It's essentially a firm chocolate pudding cut into slices. The flavor is very chocolatey and rich, but for some, I think the texture might be off-putting. If you like a thick jelly texture in your desserts, definitely give it a try though.